Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Tech Talk. Today, we are going to be talking about how to get your cat to the clinic, uh, not stress-free, but less stress. It's no lie that we see less cats than we do dogs, and it is mainly just because it is so traumatizing for not only the cat, but for the pet owner as well. So a lot of times after a vet visit, they just don't wanna do it again. So today I'm just gonna talk about some of the obstacles that we can try to mitigate to make that a little bit easier. There are three major obstacles when it comes to getting your cat here. It's the carrier, the car, and the clinic. So with the carrier, you do want one that is big enough where they can fully turn around, stand, and stretch in. Um, and you want one that's a hard plastic if you do have it and one that can open from the front and the top. Obviously, we don't expect you to go buy a brand new one just because I'm mentioning this, this, but just keep in mind that when a cat is in a confined space that they can't turn around, it makes them a little bit more vulnerable and then it adds a little bit more stress. If you don't have a carrier at all, you can use a pillowcase. We have had clients use pillowcases before and it does it does work, you just make sure that they're able to breathe so don't tie the, the pillowcase closed or anything, but it does help them stay a little bit less stressed because they can't see what's going on around them. With the carrier, you want them to kind of become accustomed to it, so just put it out in your living room or wherever the cat spends the most time in, and so that they can kind of associate that, not just necessarily with the clinic, but they can kind of make that into like a bed area. You can throw some treats in there. Obviously, the cat's not going to warm up to it right away, but at least then, you know, it being there at all times, it's not going to be such a freak thing when they see it getting pulled out of a room or when you see them coming at, the, at them with it. So another obstacle would be the car ride. So with this one, either way, this one is probably going to be stressful, but one way to make it less stressful is to kind of just bring them on random car rides, you know, and extending the destination each time. So you could start with just right down the block, bring them back, give them lots of love, tell, show them it's okay. Then you could go around the block, you know, go for five minutes. And then you can even come here just to have the cat say hi to us. You don't have to have, have an appointment. And then you can go right back home and just make sure that you praise them, give them lots of treats, just so they know that the car ride doesn't necessarily mean they're going straight to the vet clinic. Now, when you get here, it is very important that you do leave your cat in its carrier or the pillowcase when you're in the lobby. I know a lot of clients that do want to kind of console their cats by it, taking them out and you know holding on to them, but it is actually more dangerous for you and the cat because there may be a dog that comes in that comes in barking, may not like other cats, and your cat might get scared, jump off you, run away, scratch you. So it is just a lot safer and a lot less, lot less stressful for your cat in the carrier. You can put a towel over the carrier to kind of block out more sounds and those harsh lights. And I would put um, a cargo of clothing or a piece of blanket in there to help them smell like home. If you do not have a towel, you get here and you notice you don't have a towel to put over the carrier, just ask us for one. We can definitely put one over your car carrier for you. And once you get into the exam room, you can open it up with the cat kind of roam free. That's totally fine. But just when you're in the lobby, just make sure that we're being safe and keeping the cat in the carrier. If you don't have a cat carrier at all, but you do want to use one, you can definitely borrow one from us. You can borrow one from a family member or a friend just to be sure that the cat has somewhere it can be safe. With the cat carrier, again, it is best to have one that we can take the top off of because a cat is going to be less stressed if they're in the bottom of the carrier and we can do the whole exam in that bottom carrier. We don't really have to take them out except for that weight, which we can also get in the room. So that would really help. So a lot of times there's carriers that have zip ties on them. You know, if there's a way that we can just even do twist ties to help that so that we can just take that top off, it would greatly help us and the cat. So uh, one last tip for this tech talk is you can also do at home little exams where you just get your hands on the cat it gets the cat used to having their hands on experience and you can kind of catch things early too so if you did an exam a month ago and then all of a sudden you're feeling a lump you can now catch that early and let us know we can do a full veterinarian exam from there if you have any other questions about this tech talk definitely let us know but otherwise, you can give us a call if your cat is due for an exam. Our number is 320-634-3558. Thank you.